almost everything has changed in the Resident Evil 4 remake to some degree. And while of course that includes a lot of new additions, there have also been some subtractions too. And as a huge fan of Resident Evil 4, some of them really stood out to me. So here are 10 or maybe 11 of the biggest things I've noticed missing from the Resident Evil 4 remake. Don't worry, the dog isn't actually dead. Well, I mean, that one is, but not the one everyone thought this one replaced, as he's just been moved to much later in the game. So let's move on to something that actually has been removed. Like the flaming carriage that used to mow down your enemies just outside the church, because it's now gone entirely, meaning you'll have to do all the dirty work yourself. Do you remember that weird crane game sequence where you could pick up enemies and throw them into the trash? Yeah, that's gone entirely too, as that entire section of the game has been significantly reworked. And that might be why... The large tractor that Ashley used to drive only and fended off enemies while riding in the back is now gone as well, with no clear replacement. But Ashley does still at least get to operate a large piece of machinery, now being a giant wrecking ball crane. Although, this is effectively a replacement for the wrecking ball scene from the original game. And speaking of the original game, do you remember after holding down the fort, or should I say cabin with Luis, you used to be presented with a choice of a split path, one that led to a second El Gigante fight, with the other being a battle with the infamous Chainsaw Sisters. But this time, there's no split path at all, and you'll instead find yourself taking on the Chainsaw Sisters whether you want to or not. As for the El Gigante battle, well it's now gone entirely, although a new one has arguably taken its place a short way into the castle. Just before taking on the villa's chief in the original game, you used to have to catch a short ride on the gondola to reach his cliffside home. But sadly, that segment has been removed entirely. Instead, a new chase sequence takes its place, where you have to run away from the villa's chief as fast as you can. The original Resident Evil 4 was chock full of incredibly cheesy but memorable lines, some of which have thankfully made the cut. Where's everyone going? Bingo? But, one of the most famous ones, and one of my favorites, sadly has not. Your right hand comes off? <laughs> you eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. <laughs> yeah, between Salazar's slightly more mature presence, and the fact that the battle against the right hand comes as a bit more of a surprise this time, there was probably just no room for that amazing line. And speaking of Salazar, you're no longer chased by a giant robotic version of them. Yeah, sadly that entire sequence where you have to climb up the giant statue before running away from it is gone for good. Now there is technically something that replaces it, but it's not really that exciting. Do you remember this lava filled room with the flaming dragons? Yeah, it's entirely gone too. You can no longer kill the merchant, no matter how hard you try, as Leon now automatically lowers his gun when aiming at him. Now interestingly, while the merchant would remain dead in the original game, it was only at a specific location, which some people theorized meant that there was actually an entire line of merchants. Though alas, this hilarious though unlikely theory is now sadly deader than a dead merchant. I can't believe it's gone. You know, it. The it. It was one of the most thrilling and terrifying bosses from the original Resident Evil 4, and it's sadly been cut out entirely, with nary a trace of what once was a major set piece. We can only hope that IT shows up in future DLC expansions. Sadly, that means the laser hallway sequence just beforehand is also missing too. Bummer. So there you have it, 10 or 11 big things missing from the Resident Evil 4 remake. You might even say they've gone their separate ways, which is also missing too. And with that, thanks for watching, and of course stay tuned to Game is Playing for more of the Resident Evil 4 remake and everything else we enjoy here as well. We'll catch you later. Bye everyone!